I am at the University of Wisconsin in Milwaukee, and uh, we just got the Tesla Chatemo adapter, and we're going to give it a test for the first time on this ABV Chatemo unit. Now, unfortunately, they decided to install only a 20 kilowatt unit, and my car can charge at 20 kilowatts off of standard AC without DC fast charging. However, uh, it's, I guess, mostly intended for your little Nissan Leafs. So, let's see what we got here. Unboxing, we have an instruction card. Fairly simple. And then the unit itself. One end, we have the Tesla proprietary plug. For those of you in Europe, I believe it would be a Meineke style. I don't know enough about European style plugins, uh, so check out uh, Bjorn's videos for the Europe version of the adapter. And on this side, we have the massive, give me an idea how big it is, the massive Chadwick plug. So let's see what the directions say. According to the directions, insert the Chademo one from the station into the adapter. Of course, making sure to line up everything properly. Plug it into the vehicle and then hit the charging start button. Now, given that I have gone to four Chademo stations in Milwaukee County, and uh, one was iced, which was this one yesterday. Uh, the other three were completely offline, including ABB's own station. Kind of sad. I figured I'd try this one again. I would prefer the ABB's station because it is a 44 kilowatt station. It's at a 20, but uh, we'll have to settle with this. Now, um, the adapter is rated for voltages of 100 to 450 volts DC and current up to 125 amps continuous. So, get a view of the charge port here too. Alright, first step was to insert the massive theme of the plug. Check that out. Actually, it popped right off. Even though it was locked in, let's try again. Wow. Even though it locks, it pops right off. All right, that's a start. Let's open that charge port. Using a new firmware feature on the iPod. I think they overbuilt this cable a little bit for only 20 kilowatts. Can't even get it. Locking connector and setting up connection. No communication. Retry. Checking safety of the connection. Now it looks like we got something going on. at 307 volts. I started with a fairly low charge 
Let's go check that out. All right, we're gonna move the camera a bit now. Now it appears to be working. Uh, the charge port's lit. There's a little green flashing light down here, and there's also a red light on the Charge Shot M01. zoom button kind of stuck it's so cold there we go charging wait until charge is finished or press stop button to stop charging what a concept uh, to get to full well, let me see. my slider to 90% so it doesn't look like uh, what is being displayed on the Chanimo unit is in fact reflecting what uh, is in the car. Let's go take a look to see what the uh, car screen says. Although it is in fact charging and it's still quicker than a standard A1770 230 amp station. Wow, well, close the door, it's cold out. Here's the sad part. Even though the station's rated for 20 kilowatt, we are only charging at 12 kilowatt. 40 amps, 308 volts. And I th think that has to do with a limitation of the amperage output of the station. Um, it's probably expecting a... I don't know what the heck it's expecting. Well, we already got one kilowatt. 12 kilowatts an hour. Uh, it's double of what you're going to find on a 30 amp uh, 1772 station. Still disappointing. <coughs> but uh, still, it's working and it's Chademo. I wish those faster stations would be online. Uh, one of the other offline stations was the same as this one. Um, then there was a Chademo, a Nissan, one of the Nissan branded ones at a advertising company and that one was offline due to thermal sensor error I believe which apparently is a common problem with the Nissan stations and then ABB had a damaged plug it's been offline already for three months they ordered the wrong cable to replace it uh, and just reordered the correct one last week they said it'd take another month to get why would you buy an ABB station if it right off the bat takes a, a month just to get a new uh, new cabled from the outside of the unit. And on top of that, they're the manufacturer of the unit. So you guys manufacture your own units and you can't even get parts for them? I think that would seal uh, ABB's fate right there. Three oh eight volts, 40 amps, 12 kilowatts. That is sad. That is absolutely sad. It definitely did not future-proof this station. This is still saying only 34%. Cooling fans are going. Now this says 500 volts, 50 amps. So it looks like the station is only giving us 40 amps.
309 volts. But if it maintains that, charging speed will actually, I think, theoretically increase as the voltage in the pack goes up. Theoretically. And it is being fed by 40 volts, three phase. Uh, oh, there, that says 35 amps. Input, okay, input 35 amps. Output, oh, I guess if you're lower, closer to 200 volts, you might actually hit 50 amps. New Berlin, Wisconsin, yep, that's where I was yesterday. Hmm. Well, it is working. Alright, I let it run for just a little bit more because it's gonna, I'm going to have to leave otherwise I get to pay for parking even though I'm not staying here long enough to really need any charge. Uh, when I first plugged in it was about 50 miles per hour uh, recovery. Now we're down to 44. Uh, 72 rated to go. So my battery is pretty empty. We're still at 40 amps, 309 volts. Um, basically we're only charging slightly faster than a 1450. Now, if you're a Nissan LEAF with uh, maybe one of the original ones with the 3.3 kilowatt onboard charger or the 3.6 kilowatt onboard charger, excuse me, 6.6, 3.3 and 6.6, um, you could possibly, I'm turning the heat on now, I'm freezing. You could possibly, well, it is going to charge exponentially faster, uh, two to three times quicker on this station than it would if you were on a standard J1772. However, for the Tesla, you're faster on a 1450 outlet than this DC fast charger. Very, very disappointing. Now, like I said, this isn't the fast, fastest of the fast. It's only 20, rated right at 20 kilowatt unit. Um, all the 50s are offline in Milwaukee County. Uh, the one in Madison, Wisconsin is online. I have verified it. So I'm going to see about arranging to take a drive there tomorrow. It's about 75 minutes away, so not too shabby. I'm very, I'm impressed that it works, and uh, if we can squeeze out some faster charging speeds uh, out of a proper station, not this tiny little waste of money they installed, uh, I, I think this adapter is going to be quite worth it for, especially for road trips. Um, my idea is destination charging. You're not going to really be using this for long distance in most cases. That's going to be eventually be wholly the supercharger network. However, since superchargers are mostly based for long distance travel to get you to a city, not charge you up at a city, whereas a lot of Chattimo stations, for example, Milwaukee County, we have four in Milwaukee County. It'd be nice if they'd get them working, but they could be, in fact, a destination charger to give you enough to get to a supercharger while you're out having dinner. So, while at least this station's slow, I think it's promising. So, if I can get to that uh, Madison station, uh, which at least I'll have a backup as a supercharger's only a block away, uh, we're going to test this out on a 44 kilowatt station. On top of that, I do have my thermal camera. Uh, at these rates, I'm not going to see any heat buildup on, on this massive wiring. But uh, maybe at 44 kilowatts, we're going to see what kind of heat buildup is in the adapter and and the uh, Chalimo unit itself. So there you have it. Smile, cheese.